Hey everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome to episode 37 of my MLB 17 franchise with the plate with the New York Mets. Um, we are 11 and 6 right now. We have Robert Gisellman coming up because of Matt Harvey's injury. Um, it was kind of a weird, I don't know if it was kind of a rough get go the offense last episode against the Marlins and we kind of went on a little losing streak. Here we're losing two games and winning that one game, losing that one game. But we're gonna try to win the series against Philly. In Philly, I believe. No, in New York. I'm sorry. In New York, as I said, with Robert, Robert Gisellman against Vince Velasquez. Um, I'm sorry that my dog is. I don't know. He wants to sneeze. Um, but here we are in New York. I think this is the first episode that I'm actually doing in New York uh, for my second season and we're going to take out Melvin Upton and put in, where is this man, um, Juan Lagares in the meantime because he's playing like a abolish. Um, right, it's kind of batting a little better, Adrian Belcher is also batting pretty decent, um, uh, Rosario, so playing not too bad um, and of course just play I'm still haven't decided what I'm gonna do with David Wright I'm not sure if I'm gonna my first base or just putting somebody else but we are gonna try to have uh, a decent game with these guys and I'll see you guys in City Field alright welcome to City Field everybody it's gonna be again this Philly Philadelphia Sixers versus the Mets Phillies are 6 and 11, we are 11 and 6. I apologize, my dogs are playing in the background. Yeah. And there he goes again. Uh, there is Yohan Cespedes hanging out. Neil Walker, he's ready for the game. So am I, so let's get that first pitch down. 1 and 2 to Andre Ethier. Salmon throws. Struck him out! That is a changeup getting Andre Ethier way ahead. 1 and 2 to Freddie Galvis. Here in the second inning, just something that looks confident, and he throws. God, I'm looking with a changeup, inning over. Full count, Cesar Hernandez. Got him with the fastball. That is the second out of the third inning. And it looks like just someone wants to try. Get back to back strikeouts. And got it. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for just Selman and inning over. It's gonna be a base hit. Is this gonna drive the man home? I don't think they want to test Yoannis. The they did not want to test him. But now it is a bases loaded situation for just Selman and the Mets, and this should be interesting. All right. One and two to Felipe Guerrero. Bases loaded. Struck him out. As another strikeout. And you need one more out to get out of this tough situation. All right, one and two. Got him swinging. That is another, another strikeout for Jasmin, and he is on point right now. And that's another strikeout for just Selman, and he is on fire at this point. And Beltre drives it to the opposite field, and it's gonna stick. That's gonna be a ground rule double for Adrian Beltre. Now it's gonna be Conforto at third and Beltre at second. So the Mets need it's a blooper hit like that, and hopefully we can drive him in. Okay, base is loaded situation for Ahmed Rosario. No outs for the Mets. Did he prove his clutch hitting here? And he does. It's going to be a double play, but it will drive him in a man. It's going to be 1-0 Mets. Beltre's on third. It's not the situation that he'd exactly want. But that's a heck of a play by shortstop stopping two runs from coming in. I will play ball, but the Mets are up one nothing. And Jusselman drives it to the outfield, and it drops. 
And that's an RBI for Robert DeSelman and his 2 0 Mets. And it drops. I can't believe it. DeSelman's game is just on point today, man. Boom. Just knock it into the outfield. That's all you need to do, man. Yes, the string hits along. You're not the same power team like last year because you do not have Luke's Duda or Jay Bruce. That's a base hit driving in. You want to Cespedes. It is now 3-0 Mets. Adrian Beltre providing some timely hitting. Back-to-back -back innings for the Mets. Boom. Right into the outfield and getting that RBI. That's a base hit by Walker. It could be a home run. What a catch. Oh no. Lagar Smith plays that ball. He's running the third. Oh my gosh, what a bad throw. I think that is a triple. All right, after giving up the triple, Baldo Jimenez comes in from the bullpen. Not the same guy he used to be, but going to try to get at least two outs here. Yeah, so we grounder. And he throws, and he's out at first, but drives in the run. So it's now 3-1 Mets with Felipe Guerrero's sacrifice play. One and two to pack. Got him swinging. Ball game over, and the Mets win. Their 12th game of the season as they hug it out. This is a, a grind. Uh, the offense still has not hit their full stride yet. Uh, Gary Sanchez continues to struggle and as they dab. Um, the Mets, yeah, the Mets offense has not been the powerhouse that we're used to, but you know, we're able to get that win. Just selling pitching amazing. I'm sure he's a player of the game right now. And we're gonna try to continue our winning ways. Uh, let's see what the next game is going to be simulated. But let's take a look at the stats here before I do that. And let's see. Gesellman. 12 strikeouts, 2 walks, 1 earned run, 3 hits through 6 innings. And Gesellman gets his 5th uh, save of the season. And then we have Adrian Beltre back. 2 for 3. He really needs it. Really, really needed it. Uh, with an RBI. Jonas Bag 1 for 3. Gary Sanchez 1 for 3 as well. And uh, let's see what game we'll be playing next. Uh, next upcoming episode. Okay, so we're back. And the next picture that's going to have uh, a video on is going to be Steven Matt. He is 1-1 one one with a 3.1 ERA. But we are going to simulate our way to Colorado, which should be this game here, I think. Uh, just tell him the next rotation is right there. So let's just simulate this. Sim through date. Although, although we end up winning 7-5 for a 13th win. And let's take a look at the offense for the Mets. Uh, that's not me. Uh, Div right with a home run. Conforto with a home run. And look at all these RBIs. Upton Jr. right with two. Sessions with two. Sanchez with one as well as Conforto. And Steven Matt's got the win. Giving up 10 hits. 9 strikeouts. And then made the bullpen just go one by one by one by one. Flamillo gets us out of the save. Uh, oh no, Neil Walker got an injury. Out two to three months. Oh jeez. Let's put him on the 60 day DL. We end up losing one to five. Uh, Zach Wheeler now one and two in the season. Um, that's him through date again. Ay ay ay. Not to fix the lineups now. In one second. All right, we end up losing seven to nine, but Matt Harvey's also no longer injured. Um, I'm place on the bench for now. We'll just do the rotations in a little bit. Um, so we end up losing seven to nine. Oh man, Hansel rolled this with a loss, and uh, we go into Colorado, and we lose another game uh, due to Ovaldo Jimenez. I'm not. Uh, hopefully, he didn't give it up in the ninth, and he did. Uh, so now the Mets are 13 and 9. 
and we sim it as DeSalmon gets his third win of the season, winning 14 to 4. Uh, let's see, we had Upton hit a home run, David Wright hit a home run, Cespedes another home run, Sanchez the, the, the two, run ho uh, two home runs, a lot of RBIs. Uh, let's take a look at the pitching here. And we have DeSalmon, as I said, um, going, the getting the win. Having four strikeouts, seven hits, four earned runs. We had Matt Harvey come back from injury and come out from the bullpen just to wear, wear things out. And that'll be it. And the next game we'll be playing is going to be with Steven Matz going to Colorado for the, uh, for hopefully winning the series against John Gray, who's one and two. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my career or my franchise with the Mets. Please click the like button if you haven't already. I'm trying to get at least three to five likes. To tell me that you want to see more videos just like this. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.